I'm not saying we should not party. I'm not saying we should not uh, have the moment to enjoy, of course. But while you do that, please create timeouts for strategic planning. Create timeouts for strategic planning. Create timeouts to design your 2020. Create timeouts to design your 2020. Create time out to design your 2020. Don't let 2020 just take you like a normal year, okay? In today's class, Coach Abami will share with us how to set goals, why goals are important, how to set the same goals. And a lot of us may be underrating it. This night, I, I had a two... How many hour session did you do that stuff? It was over one hour. What about, I had over two hour session with one of my protégé. You know, this year, he, he rounded the, he's, he's rounding the year up with about um, eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars $19,000, okay? This is why we're not calling, I'm not saying 20 years, it's because I'm hoping that between now and the year end, which is like three days to go, it could do under 400 or 500, but that's about a seven, almost seven million naira I earned. And I had to sit down to do, help him, do a financial plan for next year, 2020. How he's going to move from earning just 7 million to at least 13, 14 million. Meaning he's going to increase his goal by 100%. Okay. So I, I sat him down and I asked several questions. I asked several questions. I'm with the paper here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight strategic questions to help him plan his 2020 finances. Eight strategic questions. And I planned it together. I sat with him. We designed the stuff. And I have his name. I have his paper. As his coach now, I, he knows what to invest in in 2020. He knows what to do in 2020. Okay? So it's the same thing here. That's what we're going to be going tonight. So um, I'm going to rightly make. So tonight, get your pen, get your notes. Learn to write in papers. Don't don't just don't just uh, take this recording like that. Write in papers, okay? Write in paper. Take the notes and write it in paper, okay? So um, Coach about me is going to be on mute, and he's going to be the host now. And I'm going to allow him to record. Okay, so coach, it's your right. Man. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, every single person on this call. Uh, I'm going to be showing my face right about now. Great. Just to have us communicate because I believe in connection in that aspect. So uh, this is Ayobami Joel Atalad, but let me say this right. All right, good. So can everybody hear me loud and clear? If you are used to Zoom already, go to the chat section so that I can, uh, we cannot unmute everybody so that we don't get distracted by background noises. Yeah. But if you can hear me loud and clear, just drop yes. Thank you very much, Abdul Razak, Isaac, Idris, Uluak. Thank you, man. You guys are already energetic already. I love this. Now, how many days to the end of this year? Just maybe like, today is what, 27? Four more days, right? Let me tell you one big thing. I love what Chris Annie started with. I love it so, so much. And I'm not just trying to be so much energetic right now to balance it. No, this is the level that you ought to work on. Why? I have some key guys as my mentor. Now, I, I call them distant mentor. One, one is Gary V. The other person is Grant Cardone. These guys are... So, and they're not saying that eh, I'm okay. Listen, if you are not as rich as Dan Gote, Bonaboy said it. <laughs> you need to still keep making money. Now, making money is not just the only goal we are focusing on right now, but being wealthy in all lifestyle, in your finance, in your health, in your relationship, in the seven key areas of life. So that is what you should, you should understand today. And Another point he said, because I would love to build from where it was coming from. 
Kristani said was strategic planning is very key. I'm going to be showing you one thing I call the presidential, uh, the presidential plan, the presidential rule tonight. And it's all about strategy, what you should look out for. And I'm going to be breaking that down. And the third part, you can see this. I'm the one teaching, but as I'm teaching you, ideas are flowing on my head and I'm going to be writing things out. See, I have books by my side that I'm also writing things. So don't just think that I'm coming here to just teach you and I'm not learning. As I'm teaching you, I'm learning also. Ideas will flow in my head and it will drop down. So do the same. Get your paper. If it's a rough sheet right now, get it. When we are done, put it in a book that you can go back to later. So write something down. Uh, when idea flows through you, write it down so that you can get the best of it. So the big question, are you guys ready? Are you ready? If you are ready, drop yes, I am ready in the chat box. Yes, I am ready. Yes, I'm ready. Tess, yes, I'm ready. All right, good. We are super ready. Now, let's move on. Now, I'm going to be sharing my screen right now. Okay. Uh, Chris, Annie? Yeah. Yeah. Can you just stop sharing so that I can share okay. my screen? And, okay. Thank you very much. Done. All right. Okay. One minute. Okay. So leaders, once I believe in my service, I don't call people followers. As I'm talking to you right now, you're also leaders. And I so much want you to position your mind like that. And before I start teaching anything, the first thing I make sure that I make happen is people understanding the main reason why they are doing what they are doing. All right? Now, what we're looking at here is how to set go for 2020. But beyond just 2020, these are informations that is going to help you to get the best that you want all right the information i'm going to be giving you tonight is not just going to limit you to 2020 but once you get the strategy once you get the importance of everything i'm laying out right now it will help you to set 2021 2022 next five years next 10 years but the first thing we must understand is why so tonight you're going to be learning some key thing and that is what okay a little bit one right now. My name is Ayo Atolagbe, popularly called Coach Ayobami. I'm the dean of Demo Global and also the founder of Am Academy. And we can talk about that later, but let's focus on this. What will you be learning? Why go setting? That's the first thing. We're going to be using what? Self Lab. All right. That's a, a strategy I learned from myself and I, every single person can use. All right. We're going to be using Self Lab. What is smart go and a better way? All right. Yes, I know most of you are kind of oh, smart go. Are you <laughs> like that's the, that's what I've been taught ever. Now we're going to learn a better way from just smart goal. The other one is the importance of goal setting. We're going to look at how to set goals for 2020, developing the full presidential strategy. That is key. Choosing the right degree of action and the action plan you are supposed to take to achieve that which you desire. All right. So moving on, the first question is this, and I would love to hear from you. Let's make it interactive. All right. Okay. All right. Kindly, if you know you're going to be making noise on the ground, kindly just mute your mic so that we don't get distracted on this other side. So the first thing we're going to be looking is what is your why? Now, why are you setting a goal? All right. Let me just, let me have a feel of why you are setting a goal. Like, why are you even on this webinar right now? Why are you setting a goal? Why do you need a goal in your life? Let me hear it in the, in the chat box. Why do you need a goal in your life? Maybe this is your first time you are hearing about it, or maybe you want to build more knowledge about it. You want to grow more better. Why are you setting a goal? Drop it in the chat box. One liner, two liner. Let's just know. Let me know that at least you have uh, a burning desire to achieve something. To make sure you are not working out of purpose, all right. That's one working out of purpose. Any other person? If not, we can just build on that. Any other person? A goal is like compass that guide you, right? Compass guide one more person. We're good to go. Achieve more, all right. Achieve more legacy, all right. I love all the points. Pardon me, let me just pick a pen. The one I'm using, just stop. 
All right, I like this. Okay, legacy is better than before. Okay, to be better than before, to do better than before. Okay, better than before. All right, improve myself, impact, impact. All right, good. Improve myself. All right, good. We already have like a large sum of it right now to so have plan to follow throughout the year. Okay, good. Plan to follow. Good. I have a good number of things right here written down. Setting a goal means that you want, you want your purpose to achieve better and play down. Good. That's already what the first person said. To make more money. Now, this is the key. <laughs> to make more money. All right. I'm setting goal to be precise on what I want to be. All right, good. Uh, we're going to be seeing the rest coming down. So um, let's do well not to get distracted by writing some things on the, uh, on the screen. Uh, let's clear that out. Annotation. All right. Thank you very much. So now, understand this. This is your why. You are doing a business which I don't know of right now. We've never met before, but understand this. The only reason why you are going to achieve your goal is if you have a strong why. And I'm going to be explaining some things later. Goal is not set for the purpose of goal itself. All right? Goal is not set for the purpose of goal itself. Whenever you are setting a goal, make sure that you are setting a goal that is in relationship with another thing. Okay? Now, I want to make $30,000. Now, I've made $30,000. Why am I making $30,000? So I can make $30,000 and that is it for me. I'm not growing again. I'm not advancing whatever I'm doing. So in your life, in what you're doing, now I have what? Working out, okay, to work, okay, working out on purpose, like so that you can work on purpose. What is the purpose? Why are you working that purpose out? The second one is what compass and guide. Why do you need a guide? Guide to what? To what end? Achieve more. What is achieve more? What do you want to achieve more? I know you didn't really give me a detailed one, but what do you want to achieve? To what end? Better person. Okay, better person than before. What stage were you before? What stage do you want to go to? You are fat before. You want to what? Get six pack right now. You are maybe like five digit person before. Now you want to be six digits. All right. I'm already entering a little bit of the smart aspect of it, but we're going to be getting on. I just want to what? Work with you right now based on what you gave me. You want to make impact in what aspect, in what aspect, in which area, in what niche, is it in business, is it in your health, you must be specific in it, okay? Improve, better, plan better, make money, to make money. Now, I learned this from Fela uh, Droto, he said, I want to armor. He said, I want to armor is not a goal. Are you a nail? Why do you want to armor? Listen, you have to be specific about it. So you be armoring... <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't give a clear picture of what you want. So you want to make money, how much? In what time? Through what? What are the tools I'm going to use? What are the skills that I have already? What are the things I know already? Okay, so I just played around what you gave me right now so that you can understand that you have this thing in you already. But you need to sit down to what? Bring it out. I'm a mindset coach, and I so much believe that inside every single person living on it, we have a potential to give the best to the world. But we are so distracted by the busyness of the world. All right? We are so distracted because the world is so busy. We want to be this, we want to be that. I've been guilty about it, and I'm very sure that I will still be guilty of that. But every single day, you learn to become better. So don't forget that today. Self lab and the self lab is a, is a key I use in aspect of what your self leadership, your self accountability, and your self belief. Now you have your why. You have your why. There's something about leadership. He said, uh, "Is it Socrates?" Yeah, Socrates said something. He said, "The best form of of power is finding yourself." Paraphrased. All right. The best form of power. Is knowing thyself, all right? Know thyself. When you know thyself, I do normally say one thing. I say what? When you know you, you respect you, all right? When you know you, you respect you. It's because you don't, you don't know the potential you have already. Now, I expect you to be like, okay, please just give us step one step to how to set goal. That is not my concern. 
Okay. <laughs> With all due respect, why? If I don't get you to understand why you need to set goals, the hour, the 1001 hour will be ineffective in the next 31 days when you are almost done with January. But when you understand why you need to set goal, when you understand who you are as a person, when you understand your potential, when you understand the capacity you carry, when you understand the person you are, and possibly the talent you have, the, the, the passion you have, the purpose that drive you, then you'll be able to like, okay, I'm setting this goal and I'm going to achieve it because I am this, I am this, I am this, and I'm supposed to achieve this. So don't forget that. Now that's the self-leadership, know thyself. Know who you are. When you know who you are, then you cannot what push yourself because you, you understand that I'm setting this goal and it's limiting me. It is 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 small compared to what I can achieve. Now the second aspect is what a accountability. When you now know who you are, you hold yourself accountable. Like okay, I'm going to do this every single day because I know I can. All right, I'm going to be showing you how to set 2020 goal, and I'm going to be elaborating more on this. But let's move on. The third one is belief, self-belief. See, there's something said. I'm going to paraphrase. He said what? People that are not up to you are doing things that are more than you, all because you don't believe yourself. People that don't have the amount of skills you have are doing more than you, all because you don't believe in yourself. All right, <clears throat> and this aspect can be maybe because your arrowhead is shattered. It is not sharp. You are confused with many ideas and you are not picking just one to go for. We're going to dive in more on that tonight. Now, another aspect you must understand is this. There is no shortage of success. Write this down. All right, I'll give you time to write that down. There is no shortage of success. Once you can have this at the back of your mind, that is all. All right? Once you can have this at the back of your mind, that is all. There is no shortage of success. All right? That's somebody, one minute. It's mute that right. person. I'm fire there. I'm fire there. All right. All right, I mistakenly muted. Chris no, 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 okay. no. All right, good. All right, good. So now, you must understand this. There is no shortage of success. One that can keep ringing in your head. All right, once that, that, that keeps ringing in your head, you understand that, okay, that this person is successful doesn't mean that I'm going to become a failure. That this person is making his million doesn't mean that I'm not going to make my own money. That this person has built this app doesn't mean that I don't have a special ingenuity for me to create mine. That this person is selling this product doesn't mean that I have a better way of selling it. That this person is in the industry of sales and I'm also in sales doesn't mean that I don't have something special that he's not offering. So when you understand that, it gives you understanding that, hey, yes, I can do more. All right? So when you understand that, it gives you a better understanding. You understand this? Success is not a commodity or resources that has limited reserve. We're not talking about gold. We're not talking about dollar. We're not talking about uh, silver, copper. Uh, okay. Bitcoin, that <laughs> we are just having 21 million uh, of it coin. But when you understand that success is based on how best you can what push yourself, push your priority, push your capacity, you can achieve more based on what you want. Understand this. I wrote something down for you so that you can what you can maximize. He said what being dependent on what a single thing or a person for success will limit your chance of achievement. Now, nice. that's another thing you must understand. Now, don't forget what I said in words, self-lab. What? Self-leadership, self-accountability, and self-belief. Now, you have to believe yourself. There are a lot of things that's happened to us as Nigeria when it comes to like cultural uh, upbringing, uh, that you are limited based on what your dad or your mom told you, that you are limited based on what your teacher told you, that you are limited based on what you are seen as modeling. Most of your lecturer back in school did not make Okay. In my department, when I was in my first degree, when I did my first degree, the, the, out of maybe like 16 lecturers, it's only two that were driving car. And when I say car, I mean like good cars. So the chance of my brain to think of an engineer to, to be wealthy was very, very few, very limited. 
Okay, it was it was very limited. So I could not I could not think of wealth as being an engineer. So I know where you are right now. Is you are limited based on your environment and what you listen to. And if you're going to set goal, you only set goal that limits you because of that is what you're seeing. So tonight, understand that success is not a commodity or resources that has limited resources. Now, let me give you an example. Why? You have ideas, you have creativity, you have talent, you have intelligence, you have persistence and determination. Once you know that these things are yours, once you what? Put yourself in that aspect, okay, these things are mine and I can do better. Then you have what? No limits in getting the results. Okay, I will still explain that in the future. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but you must understand that what? Ideas keep coming every day. Why you are not hearing it or you are not seeing it is because you are distracted. You just want, want, want to. You're like, okay, where's the next opportunity? Where's the next thing? You are not sitting down. You need to become inside to what? Get the result. Now, <clears throat> I will say it again. Miss Coach Ayo, give us the point one on how to set goals. I learned something from Alton Bob. It is not about the few points I'm going to be listening. It's about the story I'm telling you right now that we're sinking. Your why. Understand that. Your why. It is not wake up in the morning, write out your goals in the afternoon. Go, mm -mm. Why? Get your mind right. You need your mind to be right. If your mind is not right, you're not going to get it. I like the person putting persistence. I love that. These are things that we happen over and over again. See. Warren Buffett, I did a little reading. Warren Buffett started his journey when he was like 14, 15 years old, and he started with around that $10,000, All right? $16,000. Yes, that must be like 30 something years ago, 40 something years ago. But this dude keep on building. <laughs> building, all right? He kept on building. This did not happen in a day. So you have what? Unlimited ideas, unlimited creativity, unlimited talent, intelligence, persistence and determination. And the only thing that will make this thing to what be not limited is when you have the right why. Why are you driving? And some of you will list it, or you mentioned some of it already, and I built on that. So I'm going to continue on that. So permit me to mute this person as fast as possible. All right, thank you very much. So another aspect you must understand is this. Okay, I already mentioned it, all that scarcity mentality. There's nothing scarce. So once you have, once you have that mindset, okay, there's nothing scarce. It will help you to what keep building and keep going. Someone else win is not your loss. Write that down. Someone else win is not your loss. That somebody is winning doesn't mean that you're going to lose. You can win, and we have a win-win situation. Now let me use this. That Warren Buffett is what billions doesn't mean that Dan Gutierrez is not going to what get the result, right? That Microsoft was the big guy when it comes to like coding and this thing. That did not stop Apple. From shining and still shining, that Google was the big boss, which guys are using back then, did not stop what Mark Zuckerberg from creating Facebook when it came out. <laughs> and I know that Chris Annie was like, Are you okay? <laughs> See, that crypto bomb existed doesn't mean that demo is not growing. Understand this, all right? I, I, I personally told Chris Annie when I was. Ayobami is what? Being a mindset coach, number one mindset coach in Nigeria right now, doesn't stop you from saying that you want to become a mindset coach. Did you get that? Why? Because your post is totally different from mine. Who I want to reach might not be the kind of person you want to reach. You might have passion for teachers, you might have passion for athletes, you might have passion for children, and have passion for teenagers. So, don't limit yourself. Someone's success does not limit your own. All right? I hope you got that. Now, I would love you to school me right now because I know you guys are smart. And I would love you to just drop something in the chat box. What is the what? What is a smart goal? All right? Just give me the full meaning of or the full meaning of the acronym SMART. All right? I know you guys know these things. And we have been reading these things. So I'm not coming here to come and tell you what's the meaning of SMART, uh, specific measurable achievement. I want you guys to write it down. What is SMART, the full meaning of SMART acronym, all right? Drop it in the chat box. All right, what is the full meaning of, chat, of SMART? 
I want you guys to be active and participate in this aspect as well. Yeah, Fetty, don't worry. <laughs> to keep them, let's let my 2 p.m. be 2 p.m. All right, good. I like that. All right, Emmanuel said specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time bound. Oh, good. Ugochuku, good. Now, that is the information. Ugochuku, smart is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, time bound. A smart goal can be said as simple and direct goals or web defined. Good. Now, don't let us over what? overwhelm ourselves with definitions. And that's why I'm not even going to be bothering myself with this. Now, let me tell you what my coach told me. If a goal is realistic, now, you don't need to answer me. But let me tell you, you brushing your teeth today is a goal. Waking up from your bed is a blessing, but you brushing your teeth is a goal. Wearing your top is a goal. Setting up this light in front of me is a goal. Be in front of you right now is a goal. But should I tell you a better goal when it comes to webinar? Is when me and maybe like Grant Cardone or Barack Obama is having a webinar like this. Well, all right, with all due respect, I respect who invited me on this webinar and definitely I call him a mentor when in, in the sphere of cryptocurrency. But when I want to set a goal, it's something that will push you that you yourself is going to be scared of. Now, people will tell you, set realistic goal. Hey, don't, that's what you learn from your dad. That's what you learn from your mom. That's what you learn from people where you are growing up. Listen. You don't want to limit yourself based on that. When it comes to goal setting, yes, be specific. Make it measurable. Make it achievable. But that's our aspect of it. You want to shoot. You don't want to limit yourself. You want to shoot. I'm going to be explaining why. If you don't shoot, you are going to be working on the same level you have been working. And don't forget the cliche what it normally said. Insanity is what? repeating the same thing and expecting different words, different results. Okay, you have been setting smart goal, but right now I want you to sell, to, 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 what, to set smarter goal, where your R is unrealistic, that you are pushing yourself beyond the bar, like, man, this is where I want to go. Now, let me tell you another thing. When you set just a realistic goal, you take normal action, and little action give you little what? Little results. It's as simple as that, all right? I would love to make this very, 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 very uh, easy to follow. I posted something on my on my WhatsApp status. I hope it's still there because I want to read it to you. All right, I already deleted it. Okay, let me see if it's on Facebook. Pardon me. I just I just want to read it out word for word so that you get the best of the information. Okay, I didn't put it there, but. <clears throat> This is what I did. All right, sorry, can, can we just watch what we are doing so that we don't get distracted? Let me clear that out. Now, I said what? No action is no result. Little action is little result. Normal action is normal result. Massive action is massive result. So if you set realistic goal today, let me tell you the truth. You are going to be working in the normal way of it. Some people are dropping chat. I would love to follow you. Showing mental alertness and cognition of what you do. I love that. Good. Relevant. Okay. Realistic. Easy. Repeat. Okay. I don't know what that is, but you can ask it as a question. I will definitely answer you. So you don't want just to limit yourself based on what, what is realistic. Okay. Now, importance of setting goals. I'm going to be explaining some things right now. Goal setting is the first step in turning invisible to visible. Who said this? Uh, I, I'm trying to get his name right out right now. Tony Robbins said this. All right. Now these are guys that have been there. They've done that. They understood. Goal setting is the first step in turning the invisible into visible. Now follow me. You want to achieve something. Biblically, all right. Respecting our religion right now, but biblically, I'm, I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a scholar in Bible, but I'm not even a scholar in Quran. But I'm very sure that in Quran, it will tell you that you need to vision, have the vision first before you bring it into what being in the world, in the physical being. Now, you need to what make in your mind before you build in the physical. All right? You need to build in your mind before you, what, you, you have it in the physical. Now, you want to become something, and you, you don't even know how it is. You don't even, Put it on paper, make it plain. It's biblical. 
all right? So understand that goal setting is the first step in turning what has not been, what is in your head, what is in your mind, to become feasible that what people can see. Now, let me just what, help you out with the importance of what setting goals. Now, the first one, you can write it out as I'm reading it, and I'm going to be repeating it like twice. Now, first one, goals give you focus. All right? I was learning this from Les Brown about three years ago, and he said, your goals, all right, related to a little bit, something about purpose, say, your goals will set the kind of friends you are. Your goals will set the kind of food you eat. Your goals will set the kind of book you need to read. Your goals will set the kind of TV program you watch. Your goals will set, it was just like simplifying it. So when it comes to goal, it's, it's you focus. This is the one thing I want to achieve. On my podcast, I had like two, the last two uh, episodes of my podcast, on Mindset Podcast with Ayobami, it was on goal setting. And I'm trying to strategize on how to help people to be productive for 2020. I pushed out the first one, which was like two episodes away. And somebody from Ghana sent another question. Now, I explained that aspect. It keeps you focused. You don't just do something because you want to do something. You will leave the aspect of what? The generality to what? The focus specific. The focus specific. Wahid, you're, you're muting yourself. Please, can we just keep it muted? So thank you very much. So you must understand this. This is not trying to what? Do everything that everybody's doing. You are unique. So when you're setting goal, understand that what? It helps you to become focused. The second point is what? It helps you to what? Measure progress. All right? It helps you to measure progress. Now, let me tell you about myself a little bit. Now, I already said, I already said something initially. And Mustafa Waid, please help us out here. All right? Now, I mentioned I was what? From the industry or from, yeah, the industry of what? Engineering. And right now, you are hearing Coach Ayo having a mindset academy that it teaches people, focus on helping people build the right mindset. Now, you can be asking yourself, how is this possible? Now, when I got out, I could understood what I really had passion for, who I want to help. Now, how will I just jump from being an engineer to now becoming a coach, which has to do with psychology and therapy and all those coaching and all those, a lot of things, mentoring and all those stuff. I had to set a goal for myself. Okay, how many books will I read? How many mentors are in the industry already that I need to go to? Now, looking at 2012 to 2019 right now is a good sum of perfection of seven years. And I can tell you that over that period till now, that is, what, that is the reason why I'm standing in front of you today. All right? Okay, seated actually. That is the reason why you're watching me today. And I can guarantee you, based on you listening to me, I'm not just talking based on because I crammed something. I'm talking because I've felt it. I've lived it. I'm not where I am right now, but am I measurable? Is it giving me a what? A progress measure? Yes. I know how many programs I run on mindset right now. I know how many programs I run and help people to what? Get results. So I could measure myself. Why? Because I set goals for myself. How many courses will I take? How many certifications do I need? So don't forget that. Now, goals help you to stay what? Motivated. Now, when I was starting the goal setting process for myself, there's something I learned. And I want you to do it. Why? Because it, it, it creates a cue in your head. It creates a pattern in your head that, okay, I'm succeeding, I'm succeeding, I'm succeeding. All right? The dopamine. When you achieve something, it wants you to achieve more. Now, set mini goals like, okay, when I wake up, my first goal is to brush my teeth. The second goal is to make sure that possibly my clothes is ironed. The third goal is possibly read a book. Now, all these things, maybe just a page or just a paragraph. Why? When you are ticking it out, excuse me, when you are ticking this thing out, they're like, tang, tang, man, I'm achieving more, I'm achieving more, okay, I'm achieving more. Man, this is making, making sense. Though. By the time you do that for like one month, you have never start what you really want to do. But it's already positioning your what? Your, your mental state, like, okay, these things are goals, so I can achieve it. So by the time you do that, you're already like, okay, I'm already achieving more. Your mental state is already telling you that, okay, if this is possible, then I can achieve better. So what you want to do for your service, start now. The little things, and I'm telling you now, I mean, as you're done with this webinar, because 
the main purpose of this is for you to change your behavior. It's not just for you to just read and keep. It's for you to change your behavior. The best way to learn something is to do it. All right? The best way to learn something is to do it. The best way to learn something is to do it. Change your behavior. Don't forget that. Now, tomorrow morning, what are the things? Lay your bed. Laying your bed is a, is a goal. That, okay, I woke up and I've laid my bed, okay? I've brushed my teeth. I've worn my clothes. I'm reading a chapter. And you are taking it off, off your to-do list. It will help you, what? Reprogram and rewire your... Uh, the pattern, the pathway in your brain to like, okay, these things are achievable, so I'm going to get it on. So moving on to the next one is what? Goals helps you to stop procrastination. Now, you achieve the first one of brushing your teeth. You achieve the, the, one, the next one of reading a book. You achieve the other one of calling your prospect or possibly putting out a, a content out there or a, something mini, mini. It's already like, okay, why should I wait on the next one? I've already done this. So, let me just do the next one again. I have my dopamine. Now, it is not physical. It is just an excitement you have when you achieve something, all right? And it makes you want to do more. So when you're achieving those little, little things, by the time you get to that big one that seems as if it's not, uh, that people can, people will be thinking that it is too big, to you, it's like, it's another good just to, just, just to check out, all right? It's just another good just for me to what? To pick up and to, to achieve. So what you want to do is what? Make sure that you have a to-do before the day, all right? All right, I know I'm already jumping some things, but I want to wrap this up. Make sure you have a to-do. Possibly write it out in a journal. If you don't have a journal yet, write it out in something detailed, something that you can just have. I'll write it when you wake up. So what did I say I'm going to do? Okay, 30 push-up. Okay, 30 sit-up. Okay, 30 juggling. Okay, brush my teeth. Have it. So doing that, that will help you to really get the results you want somebody drop a chart. Let me see. Okay, good, easy. You are working on your phone, but do your best. Possibly, you should have your data so that you don't get distracted. Using technology these days can be very distracting, but if you've mastered it, you're good to go. Oh, all right, treasure. I'm just in treasure right now. Treasure, please. Can you? Can you? Uh, which nugget actually? All right. You say repeat those nuggets kindly. Tell me which nuggets so that I can know. I've mentioned a lot of things already. Uh, I hope I did not lose you right now. If you're talking about what the, what are the things you don't have a limitation or you don't have limits of, uh, and this is why I don't like <laughs> getting distracted. I would love to give it. Maybe you're talking about no limit in your ideas, your creativity, your intelligence, your talent, your persistence, and your determination. All right? Okay. Did no... Okay, I think that's what I just mentioned right now. No limit. All right, let, let, let me go back to let me go back to this a little bit. All right, I think it's just it. No limit in ideas, creativity, talent, intelligence, persistence, and determination. All right, I'm very sure that is what you meant. Okay. All right, so uh, let me see. There's a chart that was dropped right there. Hey. Like, behave yourself. All right, thanks. You're welcome. I use alarm when my phone beeps. It tells me what next is on my to-do list. It said different time. Good. Put it up there. Why? That is what makes it time-bound. All right, you're smart already. It makes you what? Time-bound. Okay? Now, this is not just limited to maybe people that work out, but they say that when you think you are tired, you are just 40 percent done that means that you still have like 60 percent that you can push now when it comes to maybe let me let me make it practicable you are putting out content you are calling your customer you are reading a book you are working out all those things i just mentioned right now when you thought you are done go for more <laughs> all right i'm trying to make it Make you understand. Now you, you do 30 pressure up and this place is already paining you. Try and go another 10, possibly stand up and do another 10. And push. You are reading a chapter and you look as if your brain is already like, man, I can't go more. If you can break that channel, like, okay, I'm gonna go married and extra two more paragraph, you say it's just like, mm, let me just continue. Why? You've you've gotten to where you are limited before and 
that pathway is like, but this is your normal, your normal zone, this is your comfort zone. And your comfort zone is your income zone. Don't forget that. Anywhere your zone that you are comfort, comfortable, that is your income zone. So if you are comfortable based on this, that's where you will get to. So let me continue on that. By the time you are reading or you are trying to put up a content or you're trying to make a phone call, you have to call 20 people every day and you tell that that is the normal way of doing it. You need to push and what break that limit every single day. Okay, maybe just with one more person or with two more people, five more press up or three more contents. Just push out there. All right, I'm going to make this very practicable for you to understand. So don't forget, goal setting is the first step in turning the invisible to the visible. The ideas you have on your head, put it down and start working it out. Now, moving on. How to set a goal. There are three, three ways you set a goal. Write it down. The first one is what you know. All right, write it down. The first one is what you know. The second one is what you can do. The second one is what you can do. All right, I've written it down. Now, strike the two that you just wrote down right now. All right, just strike it out. Strike, strike it out. Don't forget what I said initially. Insanity is doing the same thing and expecting the same result, right? Now, all right. Don't, don't forget. All right, pardon me. Muted. Don't forget, you already what know something, and you are still in that same level of knowledge. You are doing something, and you are still in that level of action. And if you are still in that level of action, that means that you are taking the normal action you are taking, and you are still in the normal level of knowledge you have right now. So now, write the last one, which is what I want you to start doing from today. Set your goal based on what you want. Set your goal based on what? I want to make it practical right now. What do you want? The first three people, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be what? Working with that right now. What do you want? Now, you're already achieving something. So whatever you want right now, make sure that it is like 10 times what you are achieving before. What do you want? Learn a new skill. <sighs> don't forget what I've been saying initially. A rose right. Now, I don't want to limit that, which is very possible. A professional UI designer, it requires a lot of time. Okay. Now, a new skill, Rose Roy, UI designer. Okay. UI designer, RR, Rose Roy, new skill. Now, to what end? You want a Rose Roy, to what end? Okay. I don't want to go into maybe like uh, liabilities and. <laughs> uh asset right now but i'm just going to allow this go to fly you want new skill what skill to what end all right now based on the, the third part of what setting a goal set a goal based on what you want now possibly you don't have the skill let me just assume you want the skill because you want to talk what with the president or you want to start relating with the un executives now when you set a goal presently now maybe you're talking with teenagers you're talking with bank executives you're talking with those people and you are that's one level but now based on what you want right now we push you let me talk on the first one new skill maybe possibly public speaking skill or how to network with high income um, personnel it will push you to ask yourself who are the people in this network one that means that what your relationship will change the people you network with will change Second, it will change the way you view life. It will change your, what your perception about who you should start talking with. Now, you want a new skill. Knowing that you want a new skill, that's what I say. This is not the main thing. What you want itself is after the new skill. So don't forget that if that is what you want, what is your new skill? You must know your new skill. Then what, is, what will your new skill give you? All right? What is the end result of that new skill? Is it because you want to make more money with that skill? Is it because you want to what? 
role with the with the high income earners? Is it because you want to work with government officials? Or, to what end? The new skill. Now, Rose Roy. New income source. All right. Two. <laughs> it's just bringing in my head. Why does this person want a Rose Royce in Nigeria? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's because I so much believe in assets and liabilities. All right. So I'm, I, I couldn't relate well with that. But actually, say, why do I need a Rose Royce? Is it because I want to drive with other dollars and all the likes or what? So you must ask yourself, why do I need this? Now, if you really know why you need this, then. I need money to buy this. If I'm driving Rolls Royce, I'm not going to be driving Rolls Royce in Ajegunle. All right? So I need a new place to stay, a new environment to live in. That means that, okay, your network must be what? Putting you in different network of people that drive Rolls Royce. So you must level up as well. So you're not just buying Rolls Royce because you want to buy Rolls Royce. You are buying Rolls Royce because you are increasing your level of what? Of growth. All right, let me flow with you with your chart. All right, for me, some are yearning for those things like Rose Royal to be showing off. All right, I don't want to like, that's why I say that. I don't want to know why you want it, but that's your Rose Royal. And I said the first three people, I want to diversify my earnings. Okay, now you want to diversify your earnings. What is your current earning? Write it out. Now, diversification, I don't, okay, that is not what I'm here to teach you. <laughs> I should be guided right now. But let me just give you these points. Don't just over diversify, focus on one right now, build it up, build it up again, 10x your income on that, then you can choose another person to handle, or some people to handle that, then you can take maybe like 20% of what you are earning before, or 30% of the profit from that to start another business, okay? Build, 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 don't just diversify your income, it shakes you when there's an economy instability, all right? So uh, let's move on from that. So how to set the goal, don't forget, strike out based on what you know, based on what you can do, because that's the level you have been. But set it based on what you want. Based on what you want, we push you to learn more, we push you to do more, we push you to network more, we push you to tell yourself that I can become better. Because you're not looking at what you've done, what you've achieved, and it's based on your knowledge, it's based on your former activities. Okay, so don't forget that. Now, the next point we're going to be looking now, this guy. Now, this time I'm going to be using an annotation right now. Now, I know that some people are still fighting that belief like, hey, this thing has been and this is what we have been using. Why will you tell us that we should stop setting? Okay, I need a red on that. Why will you tell us to stop setting a realistic goal? You see this guy, this is Thai. All right, this is Thai right now. Can you see that is is actually what breaking his first audio? Now that is the first line they took. But do you believe that this guy won the race? All right, this guy won the race. Why? When you set your goal too little, you won't push yourself. All right. But do you know that possibly in his mind, man, I trained, and I still eat. The head of my audio down, may I need to do more. So when you set a goal high for yourself, this is what it does to your mind. Man, this thing is much, man. And I need to achieve more. The friend that sent a question from Ghana, Eric Kobe, he asked me, I normally set goal for myself to read like 15 or to watch like 15 videos on Forex and cryptocurrency, and I don't achieve this. Please pardon us. All right, let's continue. All right, let me clear that. All right. He asked me, I, I, I said go to watch 15 to 15 videos on Forex, but I, I end up maybe watching just 50% of it. Now, I asked him, do you know that if you set your go to watch seven videos, there's possibility you only watch three? I hope you can follow me on this. If you set goal to achieve just 100%, there's possibility that you just achieve 50. So instead of you setting goal to make $1,000, why can't you set a goal to make $10,000? Thank you for muting yourself. Why can't you what, set a goal to make what? 
$10,000. So that even if you don't achieve that $10,000, you are way, way more than you limiting your what? Your potentials. Now, I was telling Chris Annie like about four days ago that I've already set a goal for January. Initial goal was like $2 million for January. And I'm like, okay, Ayo, you can do better than that. So I what? I 10x it. So that makes it 20 million. Now, I might not achieve my 20 million goal for what? For January which I'm not limiting myself, but I've put the initial thought of what? 2M. There's possibility I would push for 2M and I only end it at 1.7 or 1.8. But now that I'm pushing for 10X, which is 20 million, that's possibility I'm even what? 2.5 million, which is more than what I set for myself. So when you are setting goal, that you are setting all realistic goal up there, not down there, is programming your mind that I need more activities, I need more sales copy, I need more ads, I need more marketing, I need more branding, I need more content out there, I need to reach out more prospects, I need to draw more things, I need to, I'm just trying to like put all these things because I don't know where you work. I need to read more books, I need to, okay, let me see. You wrote something down. Okay, Rose Roy and others, okay, that is not part of, <laughs> okay, UI design. I need to learn that. I need to see how other people are doing it. I need to do more. All right. Now, I think there's UI and like UX, user interface and user experience. Why, why, you're, why you're not learning UX as well? Maybe you're already an expert in that. So look at what is happening in the industry you are in already and find a way to become better than the 99%. All right. Technology is advancing. So you must what? Keep advancing yourself as well. Now, moving on on this on this topic uh, tonight. I'm gonna to be teaching, okay, but before we dive into that, let me share some few things right now so that you understand the reason why you need a 10X, uh, you need to go in 10X action to get the results you want. Now, your goal is manipulated by your surroundings. I already said something about that, but you must understand that what? People failure to think big enough usually means they will not what act big enough. When you limit your thoughts in getting the results, you limit your action. So when you said that you just want to what make ten thousand, one thousand dollars, it will limit the activities that you're going to do. It's as simple as that. All right. Either way, so I think I've already explained what is on this sheet right now for you, practicable, so that you can what, get it. Now, write this down. Four presidential strategy. All right? Beyond smart goals, beyond all the stuff which I've already said, I want you to really know this right now. This is key. All right? This is what? Big key right here. Four presidential strategy. Are you guys with me? If you guys are with me, just drop a chat. I'm with you. So that we can flow tonight. All right, all the time, 9.52. All right, if you guys are with me, just drop. I'm with you, I'm with you. Thank you very much, every single one of you. I appreciate that. Now, the first one, we're talking about strategy. Now, if you have a goal and you don't have a way of what achieving it, then <laughs> you are not ready. Thank you very much for keeping it coming. All right, so let's move on. Okay. Let me use myself as an example because I don't know what you're doing right now. But based on what I'm going to be sharing right now, please write Oh. Are you there? I guess you lost him. Ah. Somebody's in Nepal, don't take which Nepal take like. Um okay. All right, sorry guys. Uh I just had a little shake in my internet or my laptop and it's not coming up. 
So permit me to continue from here. Is that okay? Continue, continue. All right, thank you very much. Now, the laptop is not coming on. I don't know what happened, but I hope you guys can see hear me loud and clear. If you guys can hear me loud and clear, drop a chat in the chat box. So you're just going to work with what I'm seeing right now so that you can get the best of information. Okay, if you guys can hear me loud and clear, drop, I can hear you loud and clear. So that we just will take it off from there. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now. Now, the one thing you want to do right now is to make sure. Okay, loud and clear, good. The first one is this. If you have a goal and you don't have plans on how you're going to achieve it, there's possibility that you're not what's going to achieve that result. Now, I said I'm going to use myself as an example. I was distracted a little bit by because of the laptop. Now, the first one is this. I set a goal for 2020. Thank you very much, Abolari. I set a goal for 2020 January that I want to make 2 million naira. Now, how am I going to make 2 million naira? First, I normally hold a webinar that is 5,000 naira per month. Okay? So, one, that is my first strategy, which is what? How much I'm going to what? Make from my what? Webinar. The first one, and that is at the goal of what? 100 people, and that would be nice. That's already what? 500,000 naira, right? I strategize that I'm going to run ads to sell. All right, good. Well, thank you very much, presidential strategy. I'm going to explain what those four strategies are. Now, how am I going to achieve the remaining 1.5 million? Now, I'm going, to use, I'm going to use the word I learned from Ubon King, which he learned from Grant Cardone. He said what? Number is key. Number is key. The more number you have, the more you can play with them. Now, the mistake most of us make now, I know that both of you sell product or your coach or your something, or you're doing business. In whatever you're doing, number is key. Jim Rohn said, Jim Rohn said it best. He said what? Whatever you lack in skills, make it up in number. Whatever you lack in skills, make it up in number. The third time, whatever you lack in skills that you don't know how to do, make it up in numbers. Why? The more you do it, the more you, get, you become better. Now, why do I say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of what? 1,000 era to 2,000 people. How much is that? 2 million era, right? Yes. I've already done the maths. Now, my, my target now, I'm not going to just focus on getting 2,000 people. My focus is on getting 20,000 people contacts, email leads. It is called leads. Now, I'm just trying to show you how I'm going to achieve mine. From my Facebook ads to Facebook pixel to my website, getting them as a what? As a lead, giving them value constantly for two weeks in January. Now start upselling them with content that what one they want to buy. And if you know that you're going to get a value from this person that's been giving you value, and you're going to what buy just for just 1,000 era, and possibly it will still do a master class at the end of the month. Because let me ask you personally, you that you're listening to me right now, if I'm going to do what I'll be one on one again with you, what I'm doing right now, will you pay 1000 naira right now to have this value? No, I just want to like, I want us to like be as sincere as possible. If you will not, let me know, all right? But if you know that based on what we're sharing right now, that if I want to sell something for 1000 naira, will you buy or not? Yes, I will. All right, I'm only going, I don't want to waste your, waste your time. Now, somebody said yes. If one person can say yes on this, and I just done this little word ad, or this little conversation, talking one-on-one -on -one as a human, now imagine what I can do with 20,000 people, and I'm just working with just 10% sales on my 100% contact. Say so, yes, I will. So don't forget that. When you want to sell, or you want to do something, you want to achieve something, don't sell based on what you have been doing. Don't sell based on who you are right now, based on, based on what you want. So now the fourth strategy is this. <coughs> Excuse me. The first one is management, management strategy. Now, I call this presidential strategy. Why? See yourself as the owner of your life. See yourself as the president of your own country, and your country is you. So you have to do some things every single day to make sure that what your goal is achievable. Now, the first one is what? The managerial strategy. Now, you must what? 
set goals. All right? It's a strategy. Like, the first part is what? Set goals. This is what I want. This is what I want to achieve. Then when you set that goal, you must what? Make plans. And I just show you part of my own plans. Ask yourself, what is the goal I'm setting for myself? What are the plans I need to carry out? How many content now? Based on what I just said right now, let me just break it down on this. Making plans. How many content will I push out every day through emails? How many content will go on Facebook? How many content will go on what? Instagram, on LinkedIn, on WhatsApp story as broadcast? How many podcasts do I have to push out? How many people will I have to reach out to? How many giveaways will I have to give out? How many free coaching or team building do I have to do? All right? Now, you have to or what, establish measure. How will you know that you are what, getting this? Once I can get my 20,000 leads, that is my measure. Like, I already, okay, I've already got my 20,000. I'm only want to set 10% out of it, which is 2,000. So by the time I'm doing that, it helps me like, okay, I'm already what, reached my what, my milestones of 20,000 people. By the time I what, uh, start selling, I've already got maybe like the first payment for maybe like the webinar, which is like 500K. That's another check mark, milestone crossed. Now I want to sell for the rest for 1,000 people. I still make my what, my 2 million era, which is like 2.5 profit for what? Okay, it's not full profit actually. My energy is being dispensed, but I've already achieved what I want to achieve in. So ask yourself, do I want to write a book? Do I want to what, be in a movie? Do I want to sell a product? Do I want to get into another market? Set the goal, make the plan, establish measure, uh, uh, measures, and check your performance of results. That is on what? Management strategy. The next one is what? Marketing strategy. Now, I've already explained part of marketing strategy, but let me explain a, li a little bit part of here. Now, your marketing strategy, the law of sales is this. People buy from who they know, like, and trust. K N L. Or people know buy from people that what know, like, and trust. K L T. All right. The only reason why somebody would tell me that they will buy from me right now is because they now know Coach Ayo. A little what wisdom. Let me digress. Gary V. We say what you are selling every day or what we do every day is to get attention. The more of attention of people you can get, the attention of as many people you can get, the better you can sell to them. Now, when it comes to what? Marketing strategy. How many people know you? How many people are hearing from you? How many people even know you are doing what you're doing? You are scared. And that is why I have to do the first part of it, which is what? Changing your mind, your why. Making you understand that you are, you are valuable. What you're selling, the world needs it. So it's not about you now, okay, now let me use this presidential strategy. I know how to set a goal. I know how to make my plan. Now, how will I position myself as a leader? Okay? Now, self-promotion is very key. Tonight, I know it's not part of the to-do I want you to do, but tonight, I know many of you right now, we have like about something people on the call tonight already but i want you to go to your facebook page it look as if you are trying to like form it's not forming it's branding many of you still have your picture like a selfie on your facebook on your instagram and you are doing something like this <laughs> did i just do that no i hope it's not screenshot it but most of you are doing like that why when I see somebody send me a friend request like that, I just want cancel. Because if you can do that, that means that you're not what, picturing yourself right. You might have a good product or a good everything, but you're not telling me that you are ready for business. Okay? Do it tonight. I'm not, I won't be there with you. Don't forget what I said. Save what? Save lab. It's you. I won't be there to tell you to be accountable to yourself or self leadership. But when you know that you really desire a better 2020, there are a lot of contents on your social media that you will drop down and start building a better reputation. That is what people will see first. People buy from people they what they know, like, and trust. Okay. Now I'm not telling you to go artificial on yourself. This is still me. All right. I'm not telling you to not start faking who you are not. But people will do business with people they know, like, and trust, and they know that this person can give value. Now, packaging yourself, your image, and also uh, and through that, people can perceive how much they want to pay you. All right, you, you must understand the language of your market, and that is why I could not really relate with that person saying wants to buy Rose Roy in Nigeria right now. And you are seeing your maybe possibly your 30. I couldn't relate, 
if I have money for Rosio right now, I'm going to what? Put it in something that will be giving me like two, two point five percent every single day, or every single week. Don't let me over shoot it because I already have something like that. So if I have like maybe like thirty million naira right now, or maybe like fifty million naira now to buy Rosio, I will put in somewhere that will make him like two point five million every single week. All right, pardon me. Let me use the word. Get sense. You don't need Rose Roy. <laughs> don't think Rose Roy. Think about building generational blessing, generational wealth for your family. All right, I'm already, I'm already getting emotional on that issue. But understand this: you don't need that. So, marketing, self promotion, self image, packaging yourself so that people can perceive how much they should give you. Now. <laughs> Let me play around this. Mark Zuckerberg was walking in the street of Lagos with what? A t-shirt like ash like this. Did you see the time he was going for a dinner? What did he put on? His suit. So don't let people play with your mind that I uh, is you know Mark Zuckerberg. I can dress like Mark Zuckerberg. Can't you see the way he's wearing just one t-shirt? He's doing that on purpose. It's because he's on a social level. And when he's trying to deal with the big boys, he, he put on his suit for meetings. Did you see the time they call him for a meeting? Uh, uh, they're trying to probe him on, on the aspect of people's data. What do you wear to court? Uh, to court? It's court, it's suit. So stop telling yourself that you want to dress down in, 20, in 2020. Let me tell you a little story. I know, but that's what we help you. When I was going for my master's in Cyprus, the same place that people are struggling to get a job since they've been there for like six months, I got in there and in under three weeks, I got a job. Why? Because I already understood the aspect of perception. I go into every lecture, I'm going with my suit. I go into the office, I'm going with my HOD, with my suit. I dress up. And it doesn't have to be suit for you, but I understood the word language of the business place. So I didn't struggle. I had three jobs in the same place that they were saying that there was no job. I was what? Working in between two. Now, you can say that I'm also, yes, I also, but where people say there was no job, I have two jobs. So that means what? I have two streams of income. All right? So don't let people talk you down like, uh, you're overdressing. Yes. When they tell you you're overdressing, you're underdressing. Level up. So guys, that is one. Now, the, the third one is financial strategy. We've talked about management strategy, uh, marketing strategy. Now, this was the financial strategy. Now, I hope much for your service. There is a South African guy. I don't know his name. I can't pronounce it, but he's a top notch in South Africa. He's the what? Top page coach in South Africa and it says something when you put a price on your product and people tell you that it's too costly that is not your customer if you know what you know that you know you're good you know what you know and you're not just putting price because you just want to know if you know what you know and you put a price Vusi, thank you very much Malians <laughs> did you just Malians <laughs> all right I didn't see that <laughs> all right now if that is you he said something, he said, in my organization, we don't talk price, we talk value. When you start talking price, that means that you're no longer an entrepreneur. I don't know, maybe every single person here is an entrepreneur, but let me just, whatever value you are giving to the marketplace and you put a price and someone is pricing you and you are downgrading your price, and let me just reduce this money, let me, so I can get a sale. You're no longer an entrepreneur. You don't have a structure, a process for what you're selling. That means anybody can come tomorrow and say, I'm, I'm your family member, please, can I just buy, or can you just give me for free? No, you must have what? How much for your service? That people are like, oh, yes. And don't forget, the main, the main reason for a goal, the main reason for a goal is what? So that you, well, you can keep building it. So by, by the time you reduce your product this week, by next three months, you're supposed to what? Level up, you're leveling up, leveling up back to your former price. You're supposed to be growing. Not staying there. So your financial strategy is to ask yourself, how much for my service first? You've gotten your service uh, price. Then, okay, for the next three months, if we get the mark of 100 customers, maybe we can still stay for another three months. Then on our sixth month, we're going to increase this because we want to what, reach more people. Okay, reach the right people, depending on the product you're selling. So uh, we're not going to detailing of what pricing of product and the rest, but it's on goal setting. But I learned something from John Obidi and I want you to maximize it as well. He said, will you prefer to, to coach 1,000 people, paraphrasing, I can't remember in his right word, will you prefer to coach 1,000 people in physical or 
you are doing, or will you prefer to coach? And you mentioned, will you prefer to coach this lady, Oprah Winfrey? Like three top, just imagine three people in the category of Oprah Winfrey. Will you prefer to what render services for those three people? Maybe Oprah Winfrey or uh, Will Smith or Mark Zuckerberg. Will you prefer to render service for those three people? Or will you prefer to render service for 10,000 citizens or 10,000 people that are just there? So when you know your worth, your worth, when you know the value you give, it will help you to like specific because 10,000 people will take your time. But you are focused on three people and you know these three people will pay like 10 times of the money 10,000 people are paying. So you're not disturbed by 10,000 people. You're only what, focused on three people. And it doesn't have to be three people for you. It can be 10, 20, instead of giving your service to like 20,000 people. So you should think about that. Now, depending on the product you're selling, depending on the market you are in. So don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to make you understand the focus. Now, I already talked about how much service, how much for your service. Now, income growth, I already explained that also in a way. How much do you want to make? In the first quarter, second quarter, fourth quarter, I'll be marked to it. 10 exits. All right? Push yourself. Now, related to the Mr. Rolls Roy, savings or investment. How much savings do you want to have that you can go into uh, to make more investments? How much are you going to be putting in out and saving it? Are you having in company saving, uh, in company investment, personal saving, personal investment? You should ask yourself. If you don't, start doing that. Now, the fourth one is this. The only reason why you are seeing me on DABA right now, on DABA webinar, is because I value relationship. And the fourth one is what? People strategy. All right? People strategy. Learn it. People strategy. Okay? I think I've only met Chris Annie once. And we didn't spend more than two hours together. And out of that two hours, I can say we only spoke actively for maybe like 30 something minutes and I left out to go and buy a suit for a wedding. And thanks to his brother that showed me around. And we have been keeping up. We met 2016, late 2016, through the aspect of the industry of cryptocurrency until now he's inviting me to speak on goal setting, right? So you must understand, it's not everybody you need, but the people that are in your life that you value, keep relationship with them. Now, there's something that we are, I'm, I'm an advocate of SDG goals. They're not all the goals actually, but at least I'm part of it. But they said something which I want you to write down today. The new competition is collaboration. The new competition is collaboration. I will say for the last time, I want you to write it down. You are trying to compete with people. I don't know, are you the god of <laughs> Lord of the Ring or Lord of the Competition? The new competition is collaboration. Who do you know? Who can do what you're doing? Biblically, they say one will change a thousand, two will change what? 10,000. Now share the profit 50%. <laughs> do you get that? Now, I'm not trying to say maybe, I'm not this kind of person, like, okay, because I've done this for you, I'm going to do this for me. No, let it be free. You still do your business, I do my business, but let's collaborate, let's achieve one goal. Let's make the nation better. Why do you think he called me on this right now? It's because he loves you. He's a people person. I love that. Thank you very much, Kester. The new, the new, the, uh, the new uh, competition is collaboration. That's the new rule. All right? And that is one thing you must understand. We're in the world of people. People are being born every single day. So if you are doing your business and you're not thinking of people, you are not ready. Google, Amazon, Facebook, Crypto Up, Daba. Demo up, I'm academy. These are people platform. These are platform that people need to do something. So don't let me over portray that. You must just understand that what you need people in your life. And you must be careful of the people you allow in your what? Your, your close cycle. They might want to limit you. Don't forget the rule. It's a cliche right now. You have five some average of the people around you, which is true. All right. Now, you're not on the slide right now, but let me write this down. Degree of what action? your degree of action, your degree of action. We are just done on what? The strategy, the, pre the four presidential strategy. Now, this will be the last one I'm going to be sharing tonight so that you can really understand and start taking the right action today. You already understood how to set your goal for 2020. And I'm not going to be telling you that you should write because I don't know unless we're having a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I can't tell you that. Go and do this. 
all right? I cannot just give one answer fits all, but I can give you what surrounds principles that will give you. So I'm not going to tell you that write down 10 things you're going to do, strike out the most important, which one is 1A, one 1AA. One a, a. I'm not going to do that because I don't know what's specific, but based on what you are seeing right now, you are hearing right now, and I hope you are writing something now because it's very important. Writing the point, you're already thinking where it will fit in in your own goal for 2020. So now, what is your degree of action? There are four degrees of action, and it's the fourth one. I've already over, over said it already on this, on this webinar. The first one is what? Doing nothing. And most of us who have been there before, have been there before, like, man, I'm tired of everything that's happening. I'm not, I'm not doing anything again. Like, man, I'm not making profit. I'm not doing this again. Now, and that is because what? You are not following the lab, all right? You are not following the lab. You are not following that self lab principles. Your leadership, your accountability, and your belief. When you believe right, and you're accountable to yourself, and you are self leading yourself, you understand that what, what happened yesterday happened for its purpose for you to learn. Now, the second level of degree of action is what? Retreat. You've done something, you didn't achieve your goal, and you are retreating. You set target for normal 100%, normal thing that people do, and you do not achieve the 100%, and you retreat. Why did I say 2 million for January and I bought 10 exits? Let me go for 10x. This is my normal goal, it's already out of my brain. But let me go for, 20, for 10x. If I do not achieve 20 million, I achieve for 2.5, like 3 million, 4 million. I'm fulfilled because it's more than my normal goal. It's already like two times, excuse me, it's already like 2x of my goal. So you must understand that what people retreat because they set normal realistic goal. See, if it is realistic, then what is the essence of the in the first place? It's a normal thing. Mm, 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 mm. All right, this is getting too much, but let me just write it up. Now, there's another part which 99.9% .9 of people on earth are doing this. It's normal what? Normal level of setting goal. Okay? People are getting job. Okay, people are selling product, and that is it. And I love the line of plague of people I want to follow in 2020. It might not be related to you, but the likes of people of Uber King Grant Cardon, people that are going 10x and they really want to do it and they are breaking rules. So find people in your industry that are what breaking that is in fashion, is in clothing, is in info premium, is whatever it is. Find people, you need model. I don't want to go into that aspect right now, but you need someone that you can model after. All right, someone you can like. How is this person doing this thing? Okay, I want to be like this person. Study the person, read books about the person, and you take it. Now, the fourth part is what? Massive action. And that is the 10x. Hello, Alfred. Great to have you on the webinar. 10x, that's massive. Why? Massive action, which is related to what? Set goals based on what you want. Setting goals on based on what you want pushes you. Hello, Blessing. Great to have you on the webinar. So, you must understand that there's no shortcut. I already explained it. Warren Buffett didn't just get here like that. Mark Zuckerberg just gets here like that. There are process. There are things you're doing right now that people will not buy into. But you knowing what you want to do, we get you there. Save leadership, save accountability, save belief. We get you there. All right? So don't limit yourself on based on whatever you must have what same before, whatever you must have really uh, feel or you must have experience. So uh, I, can, I can categorically say that we've achieved uh, some key things of understanding why you need to set goal, importance of setting goal, understanding the four presidential strategy, uh, how to set goal for 2020. We've looked into that aspect tonight, but I want you to what, have this takeaway to do, all right? Whatever goal you want to set, based on what I've already taught you right now, follow this. Whatever goal you've set already, this is a to-do, this is action. Like, if you're finishing this webinar right now, the next 15 or 10 or 30 minutes, the next one hour, this is the action I want you to do now, not tomorrow, now. The main aspect of learning a new thing is to change our behavior. So if you can be on this webinar for like one hour, 19 minutes right now, you're not going to go and do this. You're not ready for success in 2020. And if you see yourself writing like 10 pages or 20 pages and you're still crossing and right? It's very okay. I can show you like this paper. This is another paper. 
and other people, I can keep writing. I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit. Keep writing. Make it clear. Yeah, it's on record, but it now depends. Okay, from Ghana, maybe you get it on Daba School. All right, maybe you get it on Daba School. You need to go on Daba School right now to go and register for some courses. The high income skills uh, courses. You need to get it. So before I, before I, before I close for tonight, you must understand this these things. Take this action tonight. Whatever goal you must, you have set for yourself, ten exit. Whatever goal you've set already right now, is it reading book for this year? Ten exit. Now, don't forget what I said initially. You want to make ten million. Okay, now Ayo, why do you want to make two million in January? I have other investment. I want to make more money on. I need to what make fast investments for 2020 so that by the end of 2020. I can get a return, at least more than 100% return in one year. More than. So, whatever goal you are setting that you are 10x in, link it up with another purpose. You want to make money, why do you want to make money? That would be your drive. You want to learn a new skill, why do you want to learn a new skill? That would be your drive. You want to buy Rose Roy, why do you want to buy Rose Roy? To link up a few people, that would be your drive. So, whatever you are setting goals on what is the fuel why are you setting the goal why 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 simon senex said it well your why will drive you your why will bring the how all right it will even keep you focused I've already explained that on the importance of goal setting so don't forget that and the last one is it to do and that's why i say you must do it tonight they said the more you do something the better you are at it right and possibly the more it stores in your brain and what in that start behavior automatically. All right, I can talk about that in the process of manifestation. Whatever you can think about, uh, Tifa, whatever your thought brings in, brings a feeling, whatever your feelings bring an action, and whatever action you take gets you a result. Whatever goal you've set up or that you've 10x, that you've linked up with a purpose, as you're going to bed tonight, write them down. I don't want to limit your capacity, but whatever goal you're having right now, please limit them between three to five goals and what? Kick them, kill it, execute it to 100, 150%. Don't write 1,000 goals. It can be some goals, maybe like milestones, but just have between three and five, three and five, three and five goals. That you know that. <laughs> I love learning. Most of you are definitely you are learning from uh chris whatsapp status he says something achieving more is not about doing more possibly it's about cutting down okay achieving more or becoming more productive can be that you are not just doing more but you are what reducing your activities so whatever you are doing today you want to make sure that what you are not doing a lot of things but you are limiting a lot of activities and you are doing what the vital few the vital few the vital few they call it the Pareto principle. The principle of doing the what? 20% that will give you 80% of return. You don't have to do everything on this earth. Okay, that is it. So the third point, the first one is what? Set 10x what? Route 10x whatever activities you're doing around. To align them with a purpose, with a why. It's what? Fuel your action. It will what? Drive you better. And the third one, tonight, and when you wake up, do something. Every morning you wake up, write your goal again. And why I say you should write just five, and I digress, is that you can remember it again and again. And when you're going to bed in the night, write it again. When you wake up in the morning, first thing, write it. Why? It stores in your head, and as you are walking on that street, why one person is telling, hey, you are mad, you are crazy. Your mind like, okay, I need to achieve this. What is my plan? What is my strategy? Ah, guy, you are not doing well. We didn't see you in club today. Man, this is my goal. I need to achieve this. What are my plans? What are my strategies? Hey, guy, now how far? We even went to Bad Beach that day. You didn't show. Ah, uh, but man, we enjoy life, bro. Mm, man, this is my goal. You are not saying it out, but it's ringing that. Is this my focus? Is this thing in line? What they are saying right now? If your life is the life of a party and that is your goal. My, my, my purpose tonight is to help you achieve your goal. All right, but if we're on life coaching, I can do better. But your goal, if it's aligned, if that is the life of a party, you are a show person, you're an hype man, 
good. Do it so well that people are like, man, this is the best hype man in Nigeria. Push yourself to West Africa, push yourself to Africa, push yourself to, uh, to, to, to the world. But if your goal is to become a mindset coach, Nigerian number one mindset coach, you can't be sleeping when others are sleeping. You can't be reading what others are reading. You can't be watching what others are watching. You can't be eating what others are eating because you need the right food of body or the right food in your body so that you can live long to enjoy the mansion you are building. So thank you very much tonight. I hope the information I've given you so far is not just information and I didn't over bombard you, but you can start ticking them one by one that I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I want to appreciate uh, Chris Annie, the CEO of Crypto Up and the founder of Daba. Uh, yeah, Daba, Digital Borders. Please help me with the full meaning. <laughs> but Daba, boy, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ayoban. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Um, can we all type thank you to our Can we just uh, can we just <laughs> type it? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Obama. You're welcome. I've actually been in 2016, and one of the things I love about him is the fact that he's a man of excellence. And um, I know if you follow our Obama very well, you will see you that. Will. He is a graphic designer, he's a teacher. teacher. Even though he doesn't advertise the fact that he's a graphic designer. He doesn't, he doesn't, but you see those is excellent design. I love the fact that he's one of the if there are 20 podcast people in Nigeria, Ayobami is like among the top 20. Hmm. You know, he's among the he's among the top 20. You know why? And he's among the few people in Nigeria that are currently monetizing podcast business. Now, I can tell you something. When it comes to consistency, he's one guy I've seen that has been consistent. I receive his podcast link almost every day. But, 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 there was a time I... There was a time... I got to my brother at first, like, who is I always sending me this thing? <laughs> this is why I'm even telling him to come and teach this. When I was, you see, you must promote yourself. It doesn't mean you should spam people. You must mm -hmm. know you okay with it, with you sending them those link and all. That. But you see, there's something that has been consistent. I can go through my phone now. I can go to my phone now and see the number of times he records podcasts, and he does this with his phone, and he records this podcast, and. And, and when he records this podcast, he's the one who does the editing himself. And I'm sure he has made some dollars from Anchor, the platform mm. he's recording. In, in, yeah. And, and when he was showing me the consistency, if there's anything to learn. Now, tomorrow now, uh, he maybe he's making $25,000 or so. You know, I, I people say, how come now he's telling all this and all that? You can add him on WhatsApp. You can add him on WhatsApp. That's his number there. 770 Follow him on WhatsApp so he can be part of his podcast. One of the things I do to people who come around is that I give everybody the opportunity to, to meet my facilitators, okay? So that you can also learn from their status and learn from them. Currently, there's no... There's no cost for selling on goal setting and all that. So you guys should be thanking us for free for even having a class, a class like this, so that everybody can learn. You know, it's, it's yeah. So we can have a we have a class so everybody can learn. Okay. So um, that being said, that being said, uh, I think I don't know. I'm thinking of something. So, Ibami, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that shit. Thank you very much. Uh, so, guys, follow him. Follow his podcast. He shares a lot of insights. He shares a lot of value on his um, on his platform. Okay. So, um, I've been thinking. You know why Ibami was teaching? One of the you see people think people think. I, because I'm the teacher, I won't sit down to learn. That's a big lie. No, I mean, while you were teaching, I just got the, the topic 
for my next one of my next webinar. I don't know if I'll, I don't want to fix any webinar again for the year. <laughs> I'm tired, man. I'm I'm, I'm freaking tired. I'm, I'm, yeah. just, I'm so tired. Um, I'll sleep tonight, then wake up in the midnight to work on a funnel for our flame oh. marketing course. We've been on with it's been crazy, man, because. We've been doing a lot of stuff on so the back end and people are not seeing. And I want to tell you guys something. You see, when somebody says start something, you know, don't don't wait until everything is perfect for you to start. Yeah, yeah. See how you're about me now. You could be looking at this podcast, and I can tell you the last podcast I received was 25th of December. <laughs> I see what yeah. was, but it was yeah. on questions from Ghana with Eric Kobe. You know, the more and the, one, the next one was 19, previous on power for fitness. There's another one again, the best way to set goal. Guess what? I didn't even know. He said he gave me that in 16. 17, 16, and I came to like, man, you are going to teach us how to set your goals. I didn't even know he has done a podcast on the best way to set goals. Now that's preparation, uh, you know, preparation meeting opportunity, opportunity meeting preparation, which now leads to success. Okay. Mm. So in, 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 there, there's something like that came up. I'm going to teach. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to charge for the class or I'm going to, it's going to be free because I've never finished the WhatsApp monetization class. I have. It's a two day class. It's day two. I've not done day two. And the ebook I'm to give to them, like some of the workbook I'm to give to them, I've never uploaded from other people. I'm very careful to see that other people. But the next mm. class, I just think maybe this class, this class I just need to be monetized. Uh, make me the host. Make me the host. Oh, okay. One minute, please. Oh, I think I'm the host already. Uh, you are the host already. I'm trying to mute everyone. Okay, it's Waheed. I, I can't mute him. I've done that. All right. Okay, so I'm trying to see a situation where um, I don't have a kind of class. And your, your teaching gave me one of the classes I should start with in 2020. Mm. Ten money questions that will help your finance in 2020. Ten <laughs> money questions awesome. that help your finance in 2020. It's one of the classes I want to do. And it's going to... I, I, I sat my, uh, my... One of my projects, I sat him down today and I asked him several questions. And I have two results. So... I've been looking at it. People want a lot of people want me to mentor them. A lot of people want me to help mm -hmm. them. Mentorship, mm -hmm. it, it, it's like a teacher-student relationship, a mentee mentor, and oh. someone is also submitting himself to another person to help him become better. So that's how I help the young man. And, and, and his goal now is to move from any 7 million, 20, um, um, uh, um, 19 to earning nothing less than 14 million. In 2020, that's 100% of his goal. If he does more, fine. If he, like that. So there are many questions that people need to ask themselves to be able to achieve some that will put them in a step ahead in achieving their goals, things like the streams of income and all that. And all that. So, but I'm going to announce that class for January once I'm done with my WhatsApp class. I'll turn that WhatsApp class over and I'm going to make sure I complete my 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 goal right goal setters. People who set goals, they write. There's a lot of paper on my desk here. You know, the funny I need to complete the update. So while you were teaching, and I looked at the four major updates I need to put up in that on, on Dabba's website. Plus the oh. deadline for those updates because every goal you set must also have a deadline. So I've looked at mm -hmm. we need an affiliate we need an affiliate form 
because people now come to my inbox asking, okay, they have somebody who wants to learn digital marketing, graphic design, but they are not students of that or that. They don't think they can be learning that, but they have something to do with But can they promote? So we're we are launching, uh, if there'll be a page for both people who are fast, who are, um, um, uh, yeah, you can go ahead. You can go ahead, Ayabami. Ayabami has well, well, for tomorrow. Well, yeah, tomorrow. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So I have um, so I have people who want to just promote the platform and can earn commissions from it. Okay, so plus a new video I'll be doing, plus um, the free video class tab that will be on Daba page. So if people come to Daba, because Daba is going to be a one-stop resource for people to learn how they can make money anytime online on the internet and get rich on the internet. So I've even put up the million dollar movement. So there's a lot of stuff. I had to do that. I don't even have time for certain stuff. This period, you know, <laughs> maybe I just take out one or two hours of the day to maybe. But there's a lot of stuff. You know why? The moment I am making preparations and planning indoors now, it's easier for me to go to Dubai or Singapore in February and relax. Why? I've already paid my dues for gen for the year. For beginning uh, to begin the year, with. it's like saying, okay, when everybody were doing their party and partying and partying, I was busy. And when you build your stuff, like the business I do, by the time we build it and automate it, the time will come, I'll be jobless. Like, when I mean jobless, I, mean, I can be one week, all, I'm, all our company is doing is receiving a lot, uh, customer care is attending to customer care, while the main thing that has been done by me, the C has been done. So, maybe the next I'm going to be thinking of is the next book I'll write. Um, how to spend the small money I have to improve myself and maybe take a course or maybe, you know, go on a vacation and rest and rest. So, so when people now see me playing very well, they won't know that there was a time when there were nights I was sleeping just to make sure products are up, the company is working, events are up and all that and all that. So take your time, make sure you start. Do you know that there are some things we're seeing now that need to be on our, on our platform, Daba. But some people, one of the reasons why they don't achieve their goals in 2020, they won't achieve their goals in 2020 is simple because they want perfection more than action. So they want everything to be perfect before they can take action. And that's what's limiting you. Daba is not, our website is not near perfect, but I love it like that. And we have improvements, we're coming. By January, January now, you see Daba 2.0, like that. 20 use Daba 3.0, making up improvements because as people continue to use the platform, we will know what people need and what needs to be corrected. It's the same thing in your vision, okay? 2020, there are four days to go. Take action. You see, it will be so much a waste that we teach everything and you don't take action. That's what I like when my boy, Chikuzi Emmanuel, used to, in his webinar, you know, you see, if you can take action and follow this Apple marketing course, if you don't make money, I'll refund you. Because the key word there is action, not just you taking the course. It's action. So when you take necessary action, after you've been taught, then results come in your way. Somebody will say everybody is into graphic design. You don't need to be into graphic design because you want to make money for yourself. You for your personal love. So that you don't pay other people the money. You can be doing it for yourself, you know, and for probably friends around. Okay, guys, so while we round up today's class, I want to know how many of you, um, can you share your respective location where you're chatting from, where you are watching from, where you're viewing from, if you're in Ghana, South Africa, Dubai, Singapore, USA. Please let me know in the comment section. Please press a comment. Let me know where your location is, please. Lagos, Ebute Meta. Oh, great, great. Enugu. Okay. Oh, I'm you're in Lagos. That's great. Ogun State. Ogun State. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Aja. Oh, Digital J from Benin. We have people from a bad door. Oh, great. US. Oh, Chukunosu Aboin. Oh, um, Malian is from Dubai. How is, it, how is Malian from Dubai? <laughs> 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 As I'm from Cold City. Interesting. 
Okay, so we 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 have this hard that reach David from Benin. That's interesting. Good. good. That's good. Okay, others, others. We only have people that have the name. It's your boy, Sapele. Oh, great. great. Oh, someone's in Nigeria in Lagos for holidays. Resident of the fair group. Eket Aquaitum. That's great. Awesome. It's your boy from Sapele. How are you, gifts? I buy bands from Aquaitum. Aquaitum. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, Abdul, oh my man, Abdul Nai from London. Oh, great to have you. Great to have you, man. Great to have you. Joseph. Hey, Joseph from Kaduna. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, that is in Abuja. Oh, awesome. Great. This is Samuel from Undo, Ota, Kotfeti, Abuja. Oh, interesting. Feti. What is my relation? Uh, great. Marcia, Lagos. Ah, great. You're in Lagos. That's good to know. That's good to know. Interesting. So, um, before you guys go, I think I have a little case in my mind. Guess my man from Portal Court. Okay. Well, 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 one of these days we're gonna be having we're gonna be having a drama for do. So it's gonna be a hangout for people who have been this week who are who are, who are members of our platform on Daba. We're gonna be having a hangout in different oh. it's, it's, it's gonna be a hangout to learn and learn, connect, you know, connect, eat. I know people like food, so eat, you hang out, <laughs> learn, you know, I'll come around, you know, then we'll have a double representative on, on that stage and, um, you know, we'll get things going. So uh, let me allow um, my friend, uh, okay, Ayobami, kindly talk about your events. Should I, do you need to share? I, no, no, there's no need. Oh. No need. Okay. All right, uh, the first one. If you're listening to me right now, I, I can tell you one one other one thing that you need, or one one thousand and one goals that you want to achieve right now. But one thing which is not a limitation, but is a vital that you need to get to where you want is money. Now, when Mr. Chris told me about this, I was like, man, I have to multi tax on my study. Because tomorrow also I'm holding another webinar, PM Nigerians and GMT plus one. And I already have like 50 people registered for it. Don't worry, it's not going for any fee. The December bonus is for free. So I already made up my mind that, okay, I'm going to be allowing you also to have an access to it. So it's a free will thing. And I'm going to be dropping uh, a Telegram channel link right now. Am I committed to do that, Mr. Chris? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Go ahead. All right. Good. So for those that just want to, I want to learn how to make extra income. Actually, the main focus is compounding. I'm going to be teaching you how you can compound the money you're going to be making, possibly from Daba. So I advise you to get on Daba, learn about the affiliate marketing, learn how to make money doing that, learn all that income making course on Daba, and how you can now compound that money over a long period of time to make more and build wealth. So the commission I'm going to be sharing that uh, tomorrow, how best you can what compound a little capital, how you can generate income for yourself, and how you can create wealth for yourself. So that is the link. If you're interested, you can just be on it. I'm going to drop how you can get on and guide on how you can be on that webinar for tomorrow, 8 p.m. GMT plus one. So oh, great, great, great. Okay, guys, that's great. That's great. And uh, for those of you who have not, um, those of you, our affiliate marketing course is still on. I think, um, and we're getting guys are guys are going bonkers on this. A lot of stuff people are learning. As I as even building a small website, you can use for your product and market online. Okay, so for those who must miss the replay, the replay will be up probably tomorrow. On promises night because we need to go rest. Um, does anyone have question before we go? Question? We have just ten minutes to go. Question. I need questions. Okay. Questions. If you need clarity, please ask questions. Though it's very very important. It's very very important. 
ask your questions. And uh, why, why let, me, let, me, let me know where others are. Maybe, maybe they're just maybe they're just typing. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chris says something which I want you guys to understand, and I want you to relate it to somebody. Gary V. He said he didn't have a life between the age of 20 and 30. Not because he was not living, but he was compounding his wealth. Now, when people see Gary V, Gary v invest in startups right now with thousands of dollars, it's because he was saving. So when Mr. Chris was talking about him building right now in the next five years, he's not working or he's jobless, he's building system. Save yourself time, energy, and money. He's building system right now so that you can enjoy the future. Just by you said you save yourself time, energy, and money. Save yourself time, system. energy, and money. Morning. Just learn so, this today. That system. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you very much. I love that. You're, you're welcome. So save as much as you Okay, don't let me start on that teaching right now, but please build a system for yourself. Something that can keep making you money while you are actively working somewhere. And you can build that system so well that when you stop working, it can pay like five times of what you are doing right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Ayobami, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. questions? Questions? Let's just wait for five. Most times, one have so much ideas that one don't even know where to start. Uh, should I answer that? Go ahead, sir. Okay, now, that's part of the question that Eric asked me. Now, this is it. Out of your, let me say, 100 goals or 100 ideas, which one out of it all or maybe streamline to 10 first, that is aligned to your purpose. That is like, I can beat my chest what I want to do for the rest of my life. I've started a lot of things in my life, which I was doing, and I had to stop because it was not in line with what my purpose is. Let me tell you, 2012, 2011, a year before I graduated, we went on the mountain and we were sharing. I said, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? I said, I want to help Almagery out of the streets, help them knew them, even if it's just 10 I can do, I can give them the best of lifestyle. I was just graduating, I didn't have money, right? What did I have to do? I have to find a way to make the money. Now, I might not be doing that right now, but do you know that what I'm doing right now can help other people to help Almagri of the street? So the question is this, what is one key thing as uh, Napoleon would say, your definite purpose? And a burning desire when you're going to be starting this. But what is one definite purpose that if you do right now, it is one thing you will love to do for the rest of your life. So when you have plenty of ideas, pick one that is aligned to your definite purpose. Work on it. You will see that automatically the remaining ideas will be filling up by itself. It will be what? Filling up by itself. Because people will be attracted to you. Then you can now start sharing those ideas with them. I will start building business with them, which you are not actively in, but you are getting return from. But choose one definite purpose that you can run with and you can start getting results on. So I hope that I answered that question. And you don't really need to balance it because there will never be a balance. But you can what, manage your activity around it and get the best of results. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Any other question? Mm, I have to win back again with clients. <laughs> oh, all right, should I go with that? All right, go ahead. All right, now how to win back again with clients. I already answered to that already if you are listening on the podcast. And I think that dealt with a little bit of marketing strategy and financial strategy. Why? When you know your product and you know your value, you don't have to over stress yourself. So I'm with clients. And I don't want to do this like a big business owner. Let's just say you're what, an entrepreneur, you're just you and you alone. You're your marketer, you're your designer, you're your everything. Charisma is key. I learned something from John O'Beady. He said that what, never do transaction based on your hungry or based on your hunger or based on uh, what you want to eat, immediate hunger. Okay, when you are bargaining, all right, and don't use the word bargain, when you are negotiating, all right, bargain is like, uh, 
when you are negotiating price, talk about what value. Vusi said what? Talk value, not price. Always keep talking value. You're gonna get, you're gonna get this, you're gonna get this value you're gonna get. All right. Don't thank you very much. Don't negotiate on an empty stomach. It will affect what decision you want to make. Because you are selling product 100 percent are like, ah oh, man, I need to pay for that. I need to pay for this. So okay, bring 60 percent. When that person comes next, it will what negotiate again for 50 percent. So never negotiate on an empty stomach and stand your ground, be an entrepreneur, know what your value is, brand yourself right that they will not even want to negotiate with you. Okay? Position is key. Start from your Facebook, start from your Instagram, start from your WhatsApp story. Don't just post this because people think you want to post this and you're like joining them and like, ah, okay. Perfect, cool, Ale. Don't mind me. But brand yourself right, position right. Don't bargain with an empty stomach. And that is it. Stand on your price and keep giving value. That is the information you need to know on that. I hope that helps you. What's the name? Afre. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, maybe we should call it the night. I bought me as ready answer, so I don't, I don't need to repeat the same thing. You're welcome. It's clear. It's very clear. Uh, okay. So, um, you're welcome. You're welcome, Amanda Thank you very much. All right, sir. So we can call it a night now. You have a wonderful night, guys, and I'll see you guys. There'll be a if there'll be any uh, there'll be any uh, updates on whatever class I'm having. Of course, I'm going to share it in the community. Make sure you're 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 checking the Telegram channel. Make sure you're checking your emails. We share so much, and of course, 2020. I'm going to be I'm going to host that class for 2020. I'm going to hold that class for 2020. I'm going to be in ahead of time. Okay, guys, do have a wonderful night. All the best. Thank you.